Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is MinuteMath, and today we're learning about how to simplify expressions with absolute value. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given three easy problems here to understand absolute value, and we got to simplify each one. Let's start with part A. What is the absolute value of three? Well, the absolute value tells us really what's the distance that number is from zero. Or you can always think of it as if it's positive, say it's positive. If it's negative, make it positive. So the distance that three is from zero is three on the number line. So the absolute value of three is three. Let's go with negative 44. What's the distance negative 44 is from zero? And that's 44. So, absolute value of negative 44 is a positive 44. And again, you can think of it as, if it's negative, make it positive. If it's positive, you're done. It's already positive. Lastly, the absolute value of zero. Well, how far is zero from zero? Well, the answer is zero. And that's where it kind of gets tricky here. We can't just always say make it positive, because zero is neither positive nor negative. So. The distance from zero is a better definition. Either way, we've simplified three basic absolute values and got an understanding of them here. Well, I hope you learned something here on how to simplify expressions with absolute value. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.